Hey guys, this is Rusty and today I'm going to show you some of my building hacks and tricks for making interiors. For this video I have prepared for you this room packed full with small details that I personally love using in my interiors. First off, I want to draw your attention to the table in the middle because it shows a lot of different ways of populating tables in your interiors. For example, this awesome use for sea pickles as cups because they quite resemble something that you can drink out of and you can also stack multiple of them next to each other. Or you can also use flower pots to create incredible mugs. Next up are these amazing plates that actually have some food lying on them. These are actually quite simple to make. You just grab an item frame, put the item you want into it then rotate it however you want and then, on the same block, put a birch pressure plate. Be careful not to step on the pressure plate because it will power and it won't unpower ever again, meaning you'll have to replace it. The only downside to this is that you actually have to use the birch variant because all the other ones will have the item frame texture glitching through them, unlike the birch one which completely matches the item frame texture, so it will nullify the glitching. The last thing on this table is this bread which is actually just an item placed in an invisible item frame, which is a feature new in the version 1.16. And you can do this if you have the access to commands using the command you will find in the description below. You might also be wondering why I didn't use this for the plates, as you could then use any pressure plate you'd like. But if you try doing this, you'll find out that the item then disappears. Well, not disappears, but you can't actually see it, even if you step on the pressure plate, because making the item frame invisible lowers the item quite significantly, so it can't be seen through the pressure plate. The next awesome detail I want to show you are these incredible racks for storing raw food in your kitchen. For this one we will take advantage of two great features of the campfire block. The first one being the fact that you can actually cook your raw food on it. And the second one being its ability to be extinguished using a water bottle. Or you can actually use just your shovel in the versions 1.15 and above. You can also put some items on the campfire to cook, wait a bit, put some more items on it, then wait for the first ones to pop off and then extinguish the campfire to slightly manipulate the position of the items. I really love this use for the campfire block, but I sadly think that it is quite underutilized by the Minecraft community. Next, I want to bring up this spectacular way of making the composter or barrel seem like it actually has some items in it, by placing an item frame on top of it and putting an item into the item frame. You can also then further decorate these blocks by putting signs on their sides or in the case of the composter you can even leave out the item frame on top and instead put some items inside the composter. Another thing I would really love to show you is this way of making your tables look like they are actually being used. 
So, if you're building a table out of some dark oak, you can put some cartography tables in the middle to have some papers on the table. I really think that this is an incredible way to detail your workplace. The next thing I really want to highlight is the usage of invisible armor stands in your builds if you have the access to them. For using these I would really recommend downloading the armor status data pack put together by Esumavoid's community. Or if you really want to be precise you can use websites like this one. The next thing I would really love to show you is the power of creating a barrel by surrounding a block by spruce trapdoors. You can use for example concrete powder to create grain or maybe salt, some water to make a simple water bucket or even some dead coral which in my opinion quite resembles a pile of fish. Another awesome block you can use in your interiors are player heads because they are quite flexible to use and you can get a ton of different ones. For this I would recommend using the Minecraft Head database website. And the last thing I want to show you is this incredible detail that I really love using in my medieval kitchens. It is of course the usage of kelp and dead bushes in some item frames placed on open fence gates near the ceiling of your kitchen because I think that they quite resemble some herbs that can be used while cooking. And that's about it from me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And see you next time.